Hello, Candice Oniti here, CEO and founder of Feminine Success. Today I want to talk to you about um, being in land as an incredible part of self-care and regeneration uh, as a woman. And the reason that being on land, like really beautiful land, like I'm on at the moment, I'm here in the uh, outback of Australia, um, is that uh, we had this opportunity to have a lot of, firstly, we have this space around you, right? And so we need to do a lot of digestion as women. We need to digest information and we need to digest um, energy, okay? So I'm, I'm what I call an energy introvert, right? So I need a lot of time and space to digest things. Um, I think most women are actually like that. There are women that are extroverts that have that natural capacity to be filled up on the energy and stimulation in a social environment. But we also need that space, that out breath. Okay, you can no more go through life just breathing in than you can, right? So we have to, we breathe in, so we ingest information, we ingest life, communication, that kind of thing. And then we outbreath. So this outbreath is such a key part of the feminine experience, right? And as women in a woman's body, we need more outbreath even than men do, okay? So being out in the country, like I am at the moment, this beautiful countryside, this beautiful land, is a wonderful way to outbreath. We also connect our feet and our legs and our lower centers into the earth when we're on the land. Now, I don't know if it's obvious to you, but when you're in the city, you are constantly um, disconnected from the earth because everything's paved, right? Interesting thing to tune into that pavement actually makes us uh, disconnected from the earth. Um, and we want to be connected to life. It's a way to be connected into life as a woman. Uh, the other way to be connected to life has a lot to do with this uh, the movement factor of the body. We need to move a lot because we feel energy moving through our body when we move. And then sexuality, so the movement of energy through the orgasmic movements is something that really uh, speaks to the feminine. And then we have that experience of being filled up, filled up on orgasm. We get really filled up to overflowing. So we want to be filled up to overflowing so then we can really give and serve and take care of others because that's our tendency to want to do that first. We take care of others first and then we don't have anything left we, for ourselves. And what actually happens is this very slow over time depletion of our energy that leads to, at the very least, honestly, it leads to burnout energetically. At the worst, it leads to a litany of chronic disease. Since the 1960s, when women entered the workforce, there has been a 60% increase in female-specific cancers. This is, in my vision, a direct result of us entering the workforce and entering the existing masculine paradigms that were set up in the workforce in the world. It's not just the Western world anymore. I speak to women all around the world, so it's not just the Western world. Okay, Business in general. So... I was a corporate woman in Australia and then I started my own, uh, my own companies. I've started up five companies in the last 20 years. So <clears throat> I took all of the training I had in the corporate world into my, my enterprises. I didn't know anything else. I didn't know there was a different way of doing business. I didn't know there was a different way of doing life, frankly. And so, and there were no role models. And so I discovered different ways to do life. And it was basically like, What's missing? I kept, I kept asking this question, what's missing? And the missing piece was the feminine, okay? And so this feminine polarity that we should be most connected to as women, when it's lost, it's sort of like walking around with one arm, one strong arm that we always go to, but we've lost this sense of polarity and dimension, actually. So if we also just had one eye, right? If you walk around with first, we soon just do that with one eye right now, and you actually everything becomes two-dimensional. And so when we have two eyes, we actually get dimension. We literally sort of see perspective and dimension, um, and that's such an important part of our existence. But literally, when you're out of touch with the feminine, you really lose 
perspective and perspective is really important for when we're making long-term vision we're putting our vision into the future right um, I talk about desire setting as a key part of uh, the feminine we set goals through understanding our relationship desire desire and what we want as women Okay, did a little digression there because I was really talking about self-care, which is an important, very important part of the feminine experience. So I'm here on this beautiful land. I highly recommend you make time, especially if you live in a major city, to get out into the countryside. Just walk, you know, sleep a lot, rest, read, regenerate. I don't know about you, but basically when I do that, I just get like, these incredibly creative downloads about my life, my business. Um, you can be by yourself or you can be with groups of people. I'm here with a group of meditators at the moment. I'm about to start a 10-day meditation retreat. And then I have a lot of interaction with like-minded people who give me inspiration. It's been a really wonderful time. So if you like the video today, I'd love a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever. Just interact. I'd love to get your comments below. And if you could put below today just what's your favorite way to regenerate your energy? Um, just put some comments below. I'd love to hear that. And when you have the courage to go out there and shine, you give others permission to do the same. So let's go out there and shine this week. Bye for now.